Hello everybody, so today I wanted to share a little bit more about my uh, crazy Reddit VR Explorer app called Upvote VR. Um, and basically if you're not following along, this app is a uh, Reddit app that lets you browse and, and sort of participate with Reddit uh, without ever leaving VR and without using a website or an app of traditional sort of 2D app. So this is a completely VR native app for browsing Reddit. Um, and this is basically what you see when you load it up. You see a list of all your subreddits up here, and it's super easy to click on them. See, if you want to see pics, you can just click on pics. If you want to see videos, you can click on videos, or Vive, or anything like that. But if you unclick on everything, it's just your front page. Exactly what you would see if you showed up to Reddit and just went to the front page. Um, and you can see this is kind of a crazy environment, but you also get some options you can change to uh, different various night scenes and, and space scenes. Uh, and I'm looking into expanding this and allowing more user customizability, but for right now it ships with eight or 10 of these things. But then basically I can scroll through and I can sort of uh, almost swim through my posts. It's a really easy, it's this sort of grip trigger mechanism for scrolling through posts. Uh, and it works out great in my opinion, um, but I'm curious to see what other people think about this stuff as well. Uh, but anyway, so once I'm ready to actually br browse a post, let's go through and click and see one that might be interesting. So this looks like uh, broadband CEOs admit usage caps are nothing more than a toll on uncompetitive markets. Okay, let's take a look at that. That sounds pretty incendiary. Okay, and, there, and there's 1,400 comments, so it's going to be a decent sized comment tree. And yeah, so this, spin, this spawns this entire comment tree where you can really see um, all these different vectors for what people are responding to. And you can either point right at something and you can read, uh, pretty easily read whatever happened. And you know, I'm gonna skip over some of these, uh, these interesting words that are being shown. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but as it starts to get back there, you can see it gets a little harder to kind of target these things. So what you do is you can actually zoom in and you can click on these different comment nodes and zoom in further. Um, and actually similarly to, and then by the way, if you click the menu button, it zooms you back all the way back to the center. So you always get back to where you want. By the way, so it's kind of interesting. You can you start to see these patterns where like little things on the side, which by the way, the, the, the you can see that this is uh, 2,400 points. So this node ends up being way bigger than these other nodes, which are, you know, this is only, um, this is only one point, one point. So yeah, that's, and, but the, there's interesting things that show up like, this is an interesting comment. It's all the way out to the edge. So you know it's not super high, and it's, you can see that it's not high rated. It's negative nine points, but look at all these comments that it got. So this is usually a troll. So there's interesting th emergent sort of patterns that you can see just from this visualization. Uh, and if you scroll out, you can really see it, it, it really does center everything around the user and then shows these trees as this sort of expanding sphere around you. But anyway, the comments, like I'm talking a lot about comments, but comments are not the main point of this app. The main point of this app is once I watch, once I see this, uh, this thing and I actually have an opinion about it, I can go ahead and I can click React. Uh, and React allows me to leave a little performance reaction. And like, let's think about what we're talking about here. We're talking about broadband CEOs and are talking about usage caps. That's something I'm really not happy about. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be angry about that. Let's, let's do that. So three, two, one. I'm so angry about this. I'm so angry. So anyway, I just did something crazy. But in reality, you would leave I'm your so real, per, you know, so idea. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Like I'm these so reactions end up being this. I'm so angry. <laughs> strangely compelling. So anyway, I'm going to save that. But once I save it, it's going to show up right here. And anybody who shows up here at this comment thread in this app is going to get the chance to click on it and I'm see my so reaction. Angry about this. And so this is really a so VR angry. native way of reacting to things without having to type, without having to deal with any sort of keyboards or voice control or any of this. You just actually just say what you think and we'll tell other people what you think. And then you don't have to worry I'm because so anything you do, you can delete. So you don't have to worry about, you know, feeling bad about what you said later. Uh, well, you have to worry about it, but you don't have to, you know what I mean. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so this is the way that this works. Oh, I should totally talk about the video stuff that you can do. So this is what it would look like, obviously, if I would load the videos, which you saw me do. Um, I'm trying to think of what to, view to show what we this thing can do let's talk let's view batman batman's always fun so i just loaded up this batman thing first thing it's going to do is go and try and find a uh 
uh, an image that it, it can use as a placeholder. And then once it does that, it's going to go and it's going to look for a video that it can download. And if it can, it'll start to download that video. And if, again, if it can, it'll actually start to play it. So in this case, it looks like they were able to play it. So as you can see, you can pick th this thing up, you can rotate it, you It'd can, be tough in fact, to find you can scale, scale it as well. Media Oops. after 1992. That's a bug. That hasn't been you majorly can scale it as well by Batman the Animated um, Series. But it went the well other thing you might not know that you can do is you can actually throw it. <laughs> so this thing actually has physics, giving something and that was a weird thing. This is acting a little strange, but you can you can do crazy Batman physics premiered things. on Fox Kids. Uh, and if it goes too far away, it'll just spawn right back. There. Created by artist Bruce. So King. that works for videos. It works for images. I'll show an image to show what that looks like. Uh, and I'm still working on exactly how I do this image detection, so it's not 100% perfect on what it can detect. Here's here's one that worked. Um, so here's an image that you can you can react to. So this is great for actually being able to consume it and look at this content and have a real opinion about it before you go and and uh, start reacting to it. But actually, I'm, what the heck is? Oh, so you put <laughs> that's kind of cool. Anyway, yeah. So this is the this is what the whole thing is with uh, with this upvote VR. Is it, you end up spending a bunch of time in here, um, looking at crazy things and leaving crazy reactions. And I hope that people um, have as good of a time. <laughs> this thing's just floating around now. Hope people have as good of a time with this thing as I do with it.